you know that one person's been struck? Yeah, I saw I saw him. She <laughs> probably needs to hurry though. We're hurrying, trust me, we're hurrying. The children that return to school tomorrow were not the children who arrived on Tuesday. I'm sure there's gonna be a point where they're gonna want you to be so that you can come get your student, but I don't. Tonight, a 12-year-old boy is now charged for a Roswell school shooting that left two students injured. Police say he had been planning on attacking his classmates, even warning some kids. State police and 911 calls detail how it all unfolded yesterday morning while students get ready to return to their school that became a crime scene. The Chavez County District Attorney has charged Mason Campbell with three counts of aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. State police say the 12-year-old fired three rounds inside the school gym before classes began early yesterday morning. Two students were badly wounded, a faculty member grazed. Today, police revealed more details, saying that the young shooter planned it all and that the kids he shot were picked at random. News 13's Cole Miller begins our team coverage tonight. State police say their investigation is turning up more clues about the attack. However, I can tell you we did find evidence that the uh, suspect had planned this event. Uh, I can't discuss the particulars as to why. And why is the question everyone here in Roswell and at Morendo Middle School is asking. 12-year-old 7th grader Mason Campbell is accused of shooting in the school's gym just before 7.30 yesterday morning, a gym packed with 500 kids. At a news conference today, state police said the shooter pulled out a modified shotgun from a duffel bag firing three rounds, one into the ceiling, one into the floor, and a third into the bleachers, shooting 13-year-old Kendall Sanders and an 11-year-old boy. That gun was a 20-gauge birdshot, which contains dozens of small pellets. State police say Campbell was standing between 12 and 15 feet from those kids when he pulled the trigger. The seventh grader may have warned some students just before he opened fire, and state police are also looking into whether there were any warning signs posted on social media. They've interviewed more than 60 people. Our efforts will continue um, to uh, continue to reach out to, to anybody else that uh, believes they were a witness to this and, and, and saw exactly what happened. State police have not released a motive, and they do believe this attack was random. In Roswell, Cole Miller, KRQE News 13. The state police searched Campbell's home, locker, and the bag he was carrying, but they are not saying exactly what they found. They are saying, however, that their search did not turn up any other weapons or extra ammunition. They also revealed where the shotgun came from. The gun came from the residence of the suspect. It's fair to say the parents on that note. I would say so, yes. The family of suspect Mason Campbell released a statement today saying they're praying for the victims and their families. Mason's parents and grandparents say they're thankful a judge ordered Mason to receive an evaluation and mental health treatment at an Albuquerque psychiatric hospital. Mason's family says they'll cooperate in every way with law enforcement to piece together why this tragedy happened. A woman who knows the family told News 13 today that she doesn't blame the parents. It's a very loving and involved family, um, so I don't think it's a case of you know, not having any communication or stuff like that. I don't think that's the case. They love Mason dearly and they're heartbroken. They send their condolences to everyone who suffered yesterday. We've posted their full statement on KRQE.com. The two children who were wounded continue to recover tonight in a Lubbock hospital. The 11 year old boy who was shot in the face is still in critical condition after two surgeries. While we do have his name, we're, we are respecting the family's wishes that it not yet be released. The second victim, 13-year-old Kendall Sanders, had surgery yesterday to repair her shoulder. She is listed in satisfactory condition. We're told Sanders could be in the hospital for at least a week.